Hello and welcome back to No BS. Today we return to talking about how big tech in the United States is starting to get its comeuppance. That's right. Recently we had a story where big tech giants like Facebook and Twitter were censoring bad stories about Joe Biden. He was exposed as being corrupt and taking money from the Ukraine and China. His son got a job at a big fancy Ukrainian company for no reason in a country where he doesn't even speak their language. And he got exposed for that in a New York Post story. The tech giants tried to censor it. Facebook and Twitter tried to censor that story. And now the government is starting to come after them. Specifically, we have one alpha senator from Texas, a Republican named Ted Cruz, who has called out Twitter directly. He tried to post this story a couple times this week. Both the story and the follow-up were censored by Twitter. They also tried to cover for Biden saying another story of his wasn't true, even though we had video evidence of that. So they're hiding the facts. These confirmed stories have been hidden by Jack, by Twitter, by these tech oligarchs who are trying to manipulate the election. And one certain alpha from the Senate, Ted Cruz, has decided to call them out. That's what we're talking about today. We're going to go over this video. C-SPAN has a copy of it. It's really interesting, really strong, and a good, good listen. So we're going to jump right into it and get some more responses. Two days we've seen a remarkable development. We have seen big tech. We've seen Twitter and Facebook actively interfering in this election in a way that has no precedent in the history of our country. Yesterday, the New York Post broke a story alleging serious corruption of Joe Biden and Hunter Biden concerning Ukraine big story was exposed earlier this week as Ted's Zepsain specifically as we talked about Hunter was hired by this business because his dad was vice president then his dad the vice president covered for the business got a prosecutor fired who was investigating them then in addition Hunter Biden got money from a Russian oligarch the mayor of Russia's wife or something the Moscow mayor's wife gave him money and there was even deals with China so real messed up stuff verifiable stuff we're not making this up, but Twitter wants to silence it anyway. That story, once the New York Post broke it, was blocked by Twitter and Facebook. Anyone who attempted to share it was prevented from sharing it on Twitter or Facebook. The New York Post itself, when it attempted to put out its story, was blocked on Twitter and Facebook. New York Post has the fourth largest circulation of any newspaper in this country. New York Post is also like 100 years old. It's a really old classic newspaper. Doesn't mean they can't be wrong or have bias, but the point is, yeah, they're blocking this news organization. They're blocking this article. And you got to ask yourself, it's simple and people kind of overlook it. It's just kind of assumed, but you got to ask, why would they do this? Why would they block news articles? Why would they block any articles being shared? What's the problem? Why are they manipulating information? I know they have some bogus terms of service. They claim there's reasons to block things because of harassment or doxing or whatever kind of stuff they make up. But in my opinion, if there's a newspaper posting an article, people should be able to share the link. Even if it's not true, even if there's lies, even if there's bad things or good things or whatever, unless it's breaking the law, if you want to argue there's a law that's broken, then bring it up in the courts and get the article pulled the right way. I don't think these social media platforms should be pulling the articles themselves. I mean, that doesn't make sense. If there's a problem, take it up with the courts, get it removed officially, but blocking it on your sites to protect a candidate you want to win that's obviously in the bag for you. You're obviously supporting Biden. It's absolutely insane. Of a series of emails that indicate yet more corruption in this instance, the Biden family receiving millions of dollars from communist China government officials. Just minutes ago, I tried to share that story on Twitter. And Twitter is actively blocking right now this instance stories from the New York Post alleging corruption and the Biden fa family receiving millions of dollars from communist China. Super messed up. I'm going to let him finish, but that's super messed up. I need to chime in because it's just, it's so awful. It's so disgusting. This is a gross misuse of power. They're obviously meddling in the election. They're also just in general using their power for bad, bad things. Like why can't people just share articles? Why can't newspapers write an article and source it how they want? Why did they get to 
decide what's true and what's not true. I don't get why they think they have the authority. And it, they're really on top of it too. This is another thing I point out. We made a video about this before when this story first broke. And this is really the kind of follow-up and where, you, where this is going to go if you hadn't heard or known already. They're going to call in Jack Dorsey, the leader of Twitter. They're going to subpoena him and bring him in front of the Senate and question him and possibly move this forward to make things even worse. I hope the guy gets fired. They could bring down the whole Twitter platform for all I care. I mean, this is just absolutely absurd. If they're going to act this way, they don't deserve to be in business. They should just know better. They shouldn't be pushing it this far. I can't believe how bold they've gotten. This is a very bold kind of push to just take abuse of your power, meddle in the election, try to get this candidate elected. Also, you got to remember they're also pushing lies about Trump. They're posting stories that are unverified. They posted his tax returns, which were illegally obtained and lots of other bad stuff like that. So this is only the beginning, but it seems to be, it could be the downfall of big tech or at least the beginning of some kind of major mix up. And the committee today will be noticing a markup on Tuesday to issue a subpoena to Jack Dorsey, the CEO of Twitter, to testify before the Senate Judiciary Committee next Friday to come before this committee and the American people and explain why Twitter is abusing their corporate power to silence the press and to cover up allegations of corruption. And let me be clear, I don't know if these New York Post stories are true or not. The yeah, it doesn't actually matter if they're true or not. I think they are because I think the more they try to hide it, the more guilty the left looks, the more it looks like it's true. They wouldn't need to hide it so bad if they could just debunk it in the realm of free ideas. They could just discuss it and write a response, but they don't want to do that. They want to censor it because it's probably true. And the other great part is subpoena Jack Dorsey, bring him in front of the committee. This will be a big event. I'm actually very excited about this because we still have a couple weeks to the election. We're going to have a confirmation vote for the new Supreme Court Justice Amy Coney Barrett. That's going to be next week. Jack Dorsey could come in front of the Senate and testify next week. It's going to be big, guys. we got a lot of exciting things going on. Things are getting amped up. The election is upon us. We're only a few weeks out from voting, and all this stuff is happening, so it's very exciting. And I think it's looking good for the right. Like The right is stepping up. We're getting our justice passed. We're calling out big tech. Trump is looking like a champion. Biden looks like a corrupt cheater who's old and frail and dying. I mean, it's it's going good. Those are questions Vice President Biden should answer. But Twitter and Facebook and big tech billionaires don't get to censor political speech and actively interfere in the election. That's what they're doing right now. And so on Tuesday, the Judiciary Committee, the full committee, will be voting on subpoenas to subpoena Jack Dorsey to come before our committee. The Democrats can certainly raise procedural objections. They can try to delay the subpoena. I don't believe they, they will be successful. We are 19 days out for an, from an election, so if the Democrats were to try to play procedural games to delay the subpoena until after the election, that would be obvious and, and transparently political. Yeah, and it would be obvious that they're trying to keep these guys in power through the election. They need this manipulation. They need this kind of pull for them. The Democrats, imagine how bad they would be doing if they didn't have big tech in their corner. Big tech has been supporting them, keeping them off of life support for a long time. If the Democrats didn't have full control of things like Twitter and Facebook, they would be totally blown out. I mean, Trump is already winning despite all that control. Trump's already successful despite being handicapped and be having everyone going against him and all this kinds of stuff. So to see it that way, if they tried to block this Jack Dorsey subpoena, obviously that would look political and it would look bad. If it could look any worse, I mean, this whole Twitter, Facebook, Facebook thing is just a total mess. And I think they're getting exposed right ahead of the election. It's all coming to head. And this month is getting more and more exciting by the minute. They're 19 days out from an election. Again, I don't know if the New York Post article is true. Uh, I think it is established that Hunter Biden, while he was visiting China with the vice president, uh, received money from a Chinese bank for investment. I don't know <clears throat> much more about it, but I do know this, that uh, a lot of uh, information, the Steele dossier, was all over the place. They never blocked that. All the allegations about Russian collusion and Trump and every other idea that Trump may have done something bad, nobody blocked that. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to finally have an accounting that's long overdue. These social media platforms have a dominance in our lives. Their are newspapers, uh, their TV stations, their radio stations, their publishers. Yeah, great points. They're prevalent. It's a new era. We've got to consider new kinds of additions to our zeitgeist. It's not just about newspapers and TV shows anymore. We've got to consider big tech and how they handle themselves and how their biasness is so transparent. Like he said, they didn't block any of the nefarious kinds of claims against Trump. There was lots of bogus reports and steel documents dossier was totally fabricated. They got stolen his tax returns from an illegal source. All of that's A-OK. Nothing gets blocked if it makes Trump look bad. But as soon as a good, bad story about Biden comes out, they're blocking all the links. They're totally censoring it and totally in the bag for the Democrats. This is going to come back to bite them. I think this is a bad, bad sign for the left. And I think it's also a good sign for the right, right in time for the election. We're getting this new Supreme Court justice. That's another thing to keep in mind. That's what the Senate's been working on. That's what the Republicans are trying to pass through, including these two guys on the scene on this video. And they're doing great work. They're getting stuff done and they really don't have to. The Senate was actually in recess right now, meaning they were taking a break. But these guys are coming in, getting stuff done. They're stepping up for the American people, for the conservative party. And I'm really glad to see it. I'm glad to see it happening ahead of the election. What a great time to be alive. Thanks for your time today, guys. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure you comment your thoughts on everything below. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell for notifications too. And don't forget to hit the like button as well. See you next time. Thanks again for watching. You all have a great weekend.